So, uh, seeing the account of the crowd we produced, which was R. Gilliam of WLOK, he estimated the crowd as 50,000 people. 50,000 people. And that's really what impressed Dr. King, because his largest march that he did was 7,000 people, which was the march from Montgomery. Uh, to, uh, to, uh, to Washington. Uh, the one from Montgomery uh, to, uh, 
to sell to one of them. Yeah, they sell to one of them. Right, where they want to go to the bridge and got beat up. That was in 65, right? Yeah. So when he came to Memphis and he saw all these people, that uh, helped him uh, to figure out a new strategy. And we met on April 4th. Wow. When he came back. He came back. Because he wanted to talk to us about becoming a part of the Wilkins campaign. And in that meeting, what he told us was that he had changed his strategy from trying to take a million people to Washington, D.C. to where if we as black power advocates became a part of the Wilkins campaign and then went to other cities where we had black power uh, organizations, then all of us could stay in place and then he would go to D.C. and he would use the people in the D.C. area to do demonstrations and on the days that he could do that, then all of us would do the same thing in all of our separate cities, which would be actually uh, be able to uh, you know, coordinate it in a way that everybody could see the level of power that he really had as a leader. And after that meeting, ended at about 5.30, and he was assassinated at 6 o'clock. So that, to me, was the culmination of, of a lifetime, but it was the beginning of us as a national movement. I ain't done over any Thank you, Thank you so much. Well, in the 60s, 50s, and 60s, especially in 66, 64, 65. Knowing all the struggle and the strength of the creator, it, motiv it motivated me to be Memphis for the man. And you was the catalyst of it, along with the candidate. Yeah. 
it's just a blessing that the city decides to just, just the people that they're visualizing in a way that you spot them. When it's, you reverse them, you know, just, just standing up and doing this, this activist, pro, proactive activist. That's amazing. Happy that, 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 that charged me up. Happy You know, of, of Language. black art. Yeah. You know, yeah. it, all the arts that we have been able to create since we've been in this uh, country is wrapped up in our cultural uh, expressions, music, poetry, dance, and all of that. And see, and if you look at a hip hop video today, you see all of that. You see everything in that uh, that we have in black art. So. To me, that's what we were trying to get to this time in terms of our people, what they, what motivated them, you know, they laid the foundation, which is, came out of slavery, you know, and the full thing, getting, making it the 400, and because it's been 400 years, we have been in this country, so, and it tells the story of our um, journey. So let's get to the meat of 2023. All right. So you have this third book out. Just can you explain just a little bit? Because I have a special treat for you later on as far as reading our official letters. So can you explain the third book just a little bit? And, and, and the idea of what your people in the city of Memphis want to do to prepare that, that book. The plans you have that's coming up right in the next couple of months. Right. But I did. Because I took our paint and we went to four minutes, and it goes from one to four minutes. And she's got a four foot drive set, which gave me the ability to share information about the characters and really how we got here as a people and using the four minutes. And so it goes on for sale today. 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 Oh, yeah. Today. You're speaking of what is this? July 15th? 2023 is going on sale. Today. Today. It's going to be on Amazon and all the other uh, you know, platforms. It's going to be on uh, 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 ebook, paperback, uh, uh, and a uh, 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 Shake your hand. <laughs> John Beats is still fighting a good fight. My, my, uh, I, I adopted uh, uh, a, a quote from Martin King: "We fight on to, we fight on to the finish." And when I, when I think of that, often I'm all, I always think of you. Thank you. I always think of you. Thank you. I don't know. I do know how you keep fighting because of the blessing of the Most High. I'm giving you the steel. That's amazing. Well, I can fight it from the 60s to 2023, and you still schooling us. You still you have the schooling generation, and you still schooling us. 
and you look like you're 45 years old. That's what Well, I need to do background on that. We're here today to celebrate my mother's yes. 103rd birthday. 103rd birthday. Yes. And That's she's more than Dr. King or anybody. That's where I got That's this shirt on today. Because I want to honor the women. Yes. Because our black women have really been the backbone of our struggle in certain places at yes. certain times. Yes. And the most important part is they kept bearing children. Yes. And they, yes. they did to, they did it while they was they would put the babies on their back yes. while they were putting wow. cotton yes. sacks. Yep. Yes. Yes. You know? Yes. And yes. I grew up as a sharecropper in Mississippi. Yes. Yes. And so I understand the, the, the difficulty, uh, the desperation, and the scarcity that our people face as sharecroppers. Today is, is, is a celebration, it's not just for me and for my children, it's but mother. Yes, yeah. the birth is it's to recognize her yes. because she's done more as an activist than I have. You, have. you just never heard. You just never heard. And there's so many women. I would have followed like that. Yeah. They just do the job. You know, we're just here really as men. We have to be in the process to people like you uh, where we are trying to really accept that role and take it and actually not just talk about being leaders, but actually try to be with you. And that's what I mean. Wow. So, speaking of your mother, um, I'm pretty sure there's quite a few things that you learned from her. What is it? Give us a one. Motivating, motivating factor that sparked you to be the John, to be John B. Smith that we know today. Just pull one. I know it's many. So let's just pull one that sparked you and motivated you to be the John B. Smith that we know today. Of, of yesterday and today. Just what would it be? Learn to trust yourself and your decision. Because that is the most important thing. That's gonna transpire during your life. You know, you don't die once, but you live every day. So it's the living every day that's important, and the decisions that you make as you step through life on a daily basis. It's not a one big anything. It's the continuity that has to come with life. Understanding that uh, none of us are God. None of us are God. We walk in the steps of people who've gone before us that we learn. And we have to go. And what's most important today is the next generation. And if we don't carry ourselves in a way that inspire the younger generation to keep our effort as a people from our home, then we become like so many other nations that are no longer in existence. And we have been under the greatest amount of pressure for survival than any people living today. Which says we are the strongest. It says we are the strongest. So we have to figure out ways to use our strength. So. Let's do this, uh, Mr. John, the icon, I say. Uh, and again, before I close, it, thank you for allowing me, the Memphis Blue Man, to stand on the show today. And Cameron Tim, and Stanley Kelly, and Mon that must have seen. All right. <laughs> thank you. So we're going to close it out, uh, wishing your mother a happy birthday on this day. Yeah. So from me, What's her name? Willie Mae Grace Smith. Smith. So, from me to you, Miss Smith, I love you. Thank you for being a great pillar in the city of Memphis. And again, I'd like to say thank you for allowing me to stand on your show. 
So what you want to say to your mom? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let's say it again. Buddy. Let's, right. let's say it again. Happy birthday, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. One, happy two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday buddy. Yeah. Yeah. So what we going to do next? Right. Uh, let me, I'm going to read the letter out to you. The, the official letter of invitation. So I would like to do it and get everybody listening. Okay. And, uh, whatever you want me to do is, and, uh, if, if I can read out to you, like, like let's just say they sitting over there and we can shoot it, like, uh, when I read it out, and we're we gonna do that live. Okay. Now when I when I YouTube, are you still feeling?